Here we go again with another Cool Loser Tech video. These are the best apps of the week, so let's do it to it. Well, what do you know? It's the Cool Loser for show. To deliver, so get ready for some apps and game. Number one spot, this is the place to go. Android Tech, you know, doing my thing. The best of the weeks, so you know how it goes. Here on Cool Loser Tech, let's stop the show. And you know how it goes with the best live wallpaper of the week, and it is called Ocean Live Wallpaper. You see in the background, nothing when you switch screens. It does look pretty cool. It is a really big file. All right, let's get it on with the best apps of the week now, shall we? And I'll start it off with TouchPal Keyboard. If you're familiar with Swipe and Swift Key, this is a predictive texting where it knows your next word and it saves your sentences, and you got that swipe feature. Hey, what are you doing? Now you can speak it as well and be like, hey, did you get my message? If you like that one, just select it and it'll add it right to that. Now here's your edit mode where you click on edit, you got your cut, you got your delete, select all, copy, paste. This keyboard also has a tweeting mode where it logs into your Twitter and click on there and you can type whatever you want through here, this Twitter app. You get other plugins as well, just click on here, click on plus, and you will see that you can add touchpad contacts and let's click on there and you will see that there you got the different symbols. Now clicking on this little icon right here, you will get into this little window. But go into the settings right here, you will see you can download languages. But you can choose different keyboard layouts. There's your 12 keys. Click on 12 keys, you will get this type of texting. You guys remember this? Let's say D-O-N-T. Forget to rate my video. One of the ways that you like to text, you can see you got your sidebar right here that you can scroll. So you got touch pal curve, advanced predictions, and you got more. And it takes you right here where you can actually change even more. You can add key press sounds, the vibration, and keyboard size. So if the keyboard is too small, and now look how big that is. Subscribe. In the key press pop up, like check this out C O M M. I like the way. It looks when I press. And lastly, the skins are different layouts of keyboards. If you don't like the black one, just select this one. Check it. And then you get this keyboard. Easily switchable, just like that. And these are just some of them that I downloaded. I think there's around 20 of them that you can download. So whichever keyboard you would like to choose, you can choose from there. Oh yeah, before I forget, there's also this little swiping mode right here. If you don't want it to predict your next word, you can just turn it off. And you just be able to input, you know, your own little keys there and it won't tell you, is this what you meant? Next up, we have Easy Mute. Launching this application, it's only going to give you to the enable Easy Mute. And then you got some few settings right here that you can choose to when to activate this. Now I'm going to go into my play music and we'll keep it here. And now, let's make sure this is enabled and Easy is active. So you know we got music going on there and whether the screen's on or off. If I'm talking right now, someone's coming to me and I don't know what they're saying. You know, the music in the background is kind of interrupting, you can't hear it. All I gotta do is cover it and it stops and uncover it and it starts again. Let's cover the sensor. Uncover. Now let's try out the screen off. Cover it and it turns off. Now there's a settings in there where you could mute it or pause the song. But that's how simple this application is. It just works real great. You know, I think it's very useful and I think I might have it on my phone for a while. I like that feature. So go try it out for yourself. You know what I'm talking about? Here next we have screen off and on. I've been having this since my Nexus one days. I've been asked all the time, how do you get that TV off and on effect? Like this effect, you want that. A lot of people like that. I know some Motorola devices have that, but mainly Google Nexus devices are the ones who have this feature. Or the people who have custom ROMs that they incorporate this kind of little lock screen. Now here we see that we can enable shortcut and notification where we can turn off the screen by just having it up here. But we must select a delay locking device. Now static TV in old style, you will see that you can preview it before you get to it. So that's one way to turn off the screen. And we can click on to here. We'll see if we got some here. Let's do a fade out and preview it. And that's the way it would turn off. So there's lots of different little thingies here that you can choose. Uh, old TV style. It's not exactly the same, but it's pretty close. I see that's how it turns off. 
curtain stretch. I mean, you can put it on random. So you see that you can see the notifications. If you want to sound in a notification when you turn off, if you want it to vibrate. This is how simple the application is. You're going to try it out for yourself and have a cool off and lock animation. So go try it out for yourself. Here next, we have Streamified, an application that has all my social networks into one section, like Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, Tumblr, Foursquare. You see the other ones right here that you can add. And then if you have subscriptions, you can add them in here so you see them all in one page. So instead of having multiple applications where you're going to be like, let me check my Twitter, let me check my Facebook, let me check Tumblr. Like, you know, those are all separate applications. If you want to see them all together as you're swiping through the screen, like we're scrolling down, you're going to see them all in the timeline. And like going up here, you're going to have to sign in and add them in. Like I'm signed in on the four or three right now and you can go to them jumping right to it you can see the stream my post other little things that you can go through but right now i'm into having all three or four should i say all my posts and people's posts see them all in one little section like for this guy clicking on his remote you get to see the picture now go back. If I want to reply and like his posting, leave a comment, click on right there, and you will see down here, the little section right here where people are commenting on there. So like you can actually theme all this out if you don't like the golden brown type of look here, you don't like the wordings or the size of the font on there. But going to the settings, you will see here where you can change the frequency of font sizes where you want to come and change, notifications, the vibrations, and all that cool stuff. This is what I've been always looking for to have them all into one and you can post like clicking this one and you will see all your choices right there. Since I'm logged into four, I can select these and turn them on and let them know that I want all of these four services to post whatever I'm gonna say here. Okay. And when I press that, every one of these networks will have okay on it. So really quick and simple. Nothing more to say other than you're gonna really have to gonna try this out for yourself. So go do it to it. Here next we have Google Goggles. Google Goggles is an old application, but this application, I'm bringing it back to your attention because it is 10 times more amazing than it was before. What's so cool about it is that now your stock camera will integrate with Google Goggles, so you don't have to run Google Goggles, you can use your normal camera. I took this picture of a hostess, me crushing the Twinkies, and look what came up with. I didn't have to touch anything, I just took a picture of me squishing Twinkies, but you see that this little highlighted area, you can click on it and it'll actually go into like the photo and giving me all the information about what's in the Twinkies, where to find Twinkies, how much they are, what is the company logos and all that stuff. Clicking on the camera mode will open up the camera right here directly. I'm gonna grab this right here. Just kind of like say I'm gonna take a picture of this right here. And then it'll like scan the photo and then it'll know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> You see canine carryouts, dog treats. Let me see what comes up for the Nexus. A Nexus brand logo, Nexus brand submitted results, Google Nexus 7, that's what it is. So it knows, as you see here, you got your results. It's not like it's storing on your phone exactly, so it's just like Google account or history searches what you've searched for. I didn't even know this stuff was saving back then when I was using Google Goggles. Now here we can upload our own pictures if you want. It doesn't have to be logos or words, it can be literally almost anything. It'll tell you what you can or cannot do. I mean, Google Goggles can be used to scan the QR codes that I always leave right here on the right. It's an amazing application and I'm gonna keep it, so you guys should go try it out for yourself. Next up we have Insta Pick Frame. This application is great because you can do a little collage of photos. Like you can see you got different graphs right here. This is on all. If you want to choose more specifically, you want two squares, if you want three, four, or five, you can choose them right here. And you got different like options of how the layout's gonna be. I like them because the way like you can set photos, like click it on here, you'll be able to choose or take a picture right now. You know, make a photo, you're gonna rearrange it right here and set it. You could actually make it wider. And let's set that there. And then click on the next one. Let's raise that one. <laughs> click on there. Photos just like this. You want a different border. You see that you can, you know, no border right there. Or have a border right there. The corners, if you want a more rounded, you can have it rounded or, you know, squared off. Going to the styles. Is that color? It's red. It's black. White. Here's the images. If you want an actual image behind it. Or choose more to, you know, make it your own. And you can change up the frames, like I said. But once you're done, just check it. And then press save. 
and it'll say processing and it'll like stitch it and you can do the saving where you want it to go to your gallery, your Instagram or share it to someone else, press your gallery and it's saved so therefore you'll be able to see it in your gallery and then you can post it wherever you would like and it's a cool little picture collage there. Go do it to it. Next up we have Say Cheese. This application is supposed to help you out. Say the camera's not facing me, right? But I want to take a picture like this, and I'm like, uh, where's the button? Where's the button? You can't find it. How do you, like, tell it to take a picture? Look at this. No shave November. I'm on day 30, guys. 30 days, no shaving. And this is all I got. It's pretty sad. But let's get to this application. Let's click on this little icon. And let's say, cheese. Cheese. Do it to it. <laughs> So you see, it's actually voice commands. Camera switch. And it switches to the other side so that I can take a picture. Cheese. Cheese. Too close. Oh, too close. You see, it'll talk to you. So that's what I like about this camera because it's very, very, very helpful. Going to the settings, you can change lots of the settings in here. Can't go through it because there's just tons. It's going to be a long review for it. I'm going to select this. Turn down the brightness right here, or hold on it, and it'll make it the brightest. You can just click on it. Do it to it. And you see that it says do it to it. You can add phrases to it, so whenever you take a picture, it'll say something afterwards. This application is really great. So yeah, this is how the application works. It's really great. Go try it out for yourself. Just do it to it. And last but not least, we have Screen Filter. There's always a chance of me reviewing applications that I've reviewed in the past because they're far back and a lot of people don't go that far. But I bring them back to people's attention because it becomes relevant to some of the things and convenient. So applications get updated and they get better. So that's when I sometimes bring it back up. But Screen Filter, this application is to help me make my screen darker. As you can see right here, this is the darkest my screen gets. Like I'm all the way to the bottom of the darkness. If I wanna make it even like darker, clicking on it, you see it just got darker just a little bit by that percent. That's because screen filter allows me to change the darkness. So there's what I can see. And moving this little bar down here, you see that's how much darker it'll get. And let's select it. And that's how dark it is. Now with my camera picks it up way better than what I can see outside of it. Like it's so dark right now where I can barely even see it without my camera. If it was too dark, don't touch anything and it'll go back to the settings. So in case you completely blacked it out, it'll go back. You know, adjust it, fix it to yourself. If you got those hardware key buttons right here, not on the screen, you might be able to disable it. You'll be able to like turn those off. I don't know if it's gonna work for everybody, but I know it worked for my Nexus One when I had it at the time. So maybe it'll work for you. But that's it guys. These are the best apps of the week. Brought to you by who? The Cool Loser. And as always, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to spread the word of the Cool Loser. Thank you for joining, guys. I hope you guys enjoy these applications. And I shall see you guys next time for the best games of the week. So, yep. I'll see you guys later. Well, what do you know? Is the Cool Loser for show. Every day of the week, you know I'm a tech freak. I go, go get you like a nerd, like a geek. Your number one spot, Android tech needs. So let's get it on, let's do it to it. Yeah. Let's get it on, and do it to it.